God. Hi, folks. This is a very serious subject. Stop the clowning around. You see this hunk of junk over here? This hunk of junk has been appearing in various places. It has a number of spots in these here United States of America with the pure intention of bashing Japan. That's the only purpose they place it in the United States. And they also have been placing it in numerous spots in South Korea. They've been appearing all over South Korea as a teenager has acne. All over the place. They placed one in front of the Japanese Embassy in Seoul, South Korea and in front of the Japanese Consulate in Busan, South Korea with the sole intention of annoying the Japanese in those two buildings. That's the only purpose it served. So, it's been placed there. But you know where thus far it has not been placed recently? Japan, the land of the rising sun. It would make sense to place it there since that's the country you're bashing. Well, guess what, folks? It did. It did appear, this hunk of junk, in Japan, the city of Nagoya, and an art gallery. Now, this art gallery, Nagoya, the people of this gallery are Japanese. The uh, organizer of the event that had this hunk of junk there, Japanese. And they had other exhibits in this area with this hunk of junk that were meant to be controversial, meant to be edgy. You know, artists like to be edgy and meant to invoke emotions. But guess what? They were successful. Very successful. Too successful. <laughs> As a result of placing this hunk of junk in this exhibit to insult the people of Japan. That was the intention. Don't give me this was edgy, all right? Don't give me it was to invoke emotions. You were to invoke hate, purely. Simple as that. So, the art gallery received a whole lot of controversy in emails, faxes, telephone calls. They received it all critical of this hunk of junk. As it also, also they received death threats. Also, as a result of this, they decided to pull the hunk of junk from the exhibit in the interest of public safety. So now there's a controversy taking place because the exhibitors got what they wanted. They wanted to invoke controversy, emotions, and they got it. Well, they what they expected. Now the politicians, they were blaming each other. The governor, the mayor, they were all blaming each other for this. And they're saying, hey, wait a minute, censorship, that's unconstitutional. Well, that, you know, that's a fine line there with the censor, if that was censorship or not. Some people say censorship, I say quality control. But censorship to you, I can interpret as being quality control. But putting these two aside, it was said it was removed in the interest of public safety because of the violent threats that were issued. So that's another one that that's, I guess is open for a wide discussion. Was it censorship? Was it quality control? Was it public safety? Was it correct for it to be removed? Forget about it. Here's the part of the story. <laughs> Here's the part of the story I like. Maybe because it had a, well, Here's a part of the story. A gentleman walks into the exhibit and know what he does when he saw the hunk of junk? He did this. He had one of these. This, incidentally, is the actual paper bag I brought with me to Glendale, California a few years ago when this was placed over the head of the Comfort Women statue in Glendale, California to protect it from bird poop. Hey, boy, did I get that threats for that. <laughs> anyway, so he was nice enough, the gentleman, to place it over the statue to protect it from bird poop. Yeah, birds fly inside of buildings once in a while, so the gentleman was being considerate. I'm certainly glad that I provided some bit of an influence for this gentleman <laughs> to properly protect the Comfort Woman statue. And to the gentleman who did this, if you're listening to this video, May I suggest you contact Colonel Shunsan? And I'm sure Colonel Shunsan, the next time he's in Nagoya, 
he would take you out to dinner. And if I ever return to Nagoya, I'll let you take me out to dinner. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm so glad. That's what I enjoy about this whole story, is the return of the paper bag. See, that's the way you handle it. You handle it with humor. Don't get angry. Don't issue death threats. Don't use foul language. Use a paper bag. Very simple. The paper bag placed over the head of the hunk of junk says it all. You don't have to say anything, and this is all you have to do. And you <laughs> they're, they're bashing Japan with the statue. We bash you right back with a simple paper bag. <laughs> you know, this is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be. And God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, near Goku, Japan. Oh, also, I think it was last year, a Korean actually got a paper bag in Korea and placed it over one of the statues there. You see, this bag is influencing people all across the demographics. No problem. Be you Japanese, be you Korean, Italiano, eh? <laughs> See ya. <ya. laughs>